It's time, my friends. Happy New Year. I hope you folks had a lovely one. Welcome to the very first episode of my Terraria Master Ranger playthrough. That is right, we're finishing off the 1.4 class playthroughs here with the Master Ranger playthrough. So, of course, drop a like if you're excited for this new series. It really helps these videos get out there on YouTube. So, without further ado, I've already got a new character created. We're going to go New World, Small master and this time we're going to purposely go for corruption because i feel like it's been a while since we've had a corruption world even though it probably actually hasn't i just feel like it's been a while so here we are master ranger lp Ladies and gentlemen, let's create this world and let's get into it. So welcome to our world, my friends. Let's get into this thing, shall we? And while we do so, I just want to remind you folks that if you do want to know when the future episodes are out, do consider subscribing to the channel with those bell notifications turned on. I'm aiming for maybe every other day releases of episodes of this series. So like I say, subscribe if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But of course, if you do want to go one further with the support, you just go Python and ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs for 5% off or for a whopping 15% off if you decide to go for some Terraria merch from Terraria.shop instead. So then, I think it goes without saying the only limitation we have in this series is we are restricted to ranged damage. So what that means for us is this copper short sword is gonna go in the trash. Might as well go for some wood armor here. I mean, at the end of the day, three defense is better than zero, right? All right, so already on the left-hand side, we do indeed have ourselves a corruption. So what I'm going to do to try and sort of stifle its spreading, I'm gonna put a sunflower right there. That should stop the corruption from spreading for now anyway. All right, so in order to get ourselves some ammunition for our bow, we're going to need to grab ourselves a little bit of stone here. So how's about we do exactly that, my friends? And then maybe we could take these pesky slimes out of the game. We seem to be getting invaded here a little bit. Oh, good grief. All right, here we go. Arrows, please. There we go. 300, that will do the job. And now what we could do is start pummeling these folks with some arrows. Ah, oh, yeah, that is right, son. And because this is 1.4, we can auto-fire these bows as well. I gotta say, I really genuinely love that feature about 1.4. I can't remember which of the 1.4 updates it was, but nonetheless, I love it. I really, really do. It makes things so much more simple, and it means that I won't get RSI from having to click to shoot my bow three million times. Now, when it comes to goals for this series, it is going to be very, very similar to our other 1.4 class playthroughs. All we're gonna do is beat the game and then create what I consider to be the ultimate Ranger loadout. So if all of that sounds like your cup of tea, then do be sure to stick around. So how's about we explore our world a little bit, eh? Oh, large trees. Hmm, could be a potential base location, my friends. What do we think? I mean, to be fair, our regular Let's Play last year, we did kind of wind up cannibalizing a tree and using it as a base. So maybe we go for somewhere different? The good news is I've actually picked up some throwing knives from the chest that was here. So that's actually pretty awesome. Uh, let's create ourselves... A few torches. We're going to roll on down here. We're going to see what we can find real quick. And what do we have? A finch staff. As nice as that is for an early game summoner, sadly, we're not a summoner. We're not allowed to use it, folks. What we do have here, though, is a whole bunch of cobwebs. If we can get ourselves all of these cobwebs here. How many is that? What, 20? Okay, that's pretty good. We get ourselves 35 and we can make ourselves a bed, which would be... Very useful. Ah, recall potions. Excellent. All right, so long as we got those bad boys on us, we should be able to explore and get ourselves out of any sticky situations that may present themselves to us. Got more cobweb right here. We need six more, and then we can make our bed. And there we have it, in fact. Beautiful. Ah, interesting. Jungle. We really don't actually have a great deal of regular land in the middle here. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think what that means for us is we don't have a great deal of choice in terms of where we're going to set up base. It's going to have to be in that large tree, isn't it? 
Oh, well, I mean, there's worse places in the world to set up, eh? And hey, at the end of the day, it is the end of the day. <laughs> So we should probably think about setting up a rudimentary shelter anyway, and what better place is there than a place that has already been set up for us, kind of. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, we can get the guy to move in here as well, of course. All we gotta do is whip up a table right there, and Mr. Guide, missing a wall? Oh no, I completely forgot. We have to go ahead and sort of replace all the walls from the surface going down into this thing because natural background walls don't count towards, you know, a house being valid. Ah, well, what I can do, I can go ahead. Wait, I can make an anvil? Oh, wow, I got myself a whole bunch of lead bars before. Huh, I didn't even realize that is amazing. If only we had, what, one, maybe two more lead bars, I'd be able to make myself a lead bow. That would have been pretty handy. Yeah, that's right. That is right. I just put down a dresser. I always forget that dressers have storage, you know? So why don't we put all of our vanity items in here? It makes sense, right? All right, very good. So there we are. Room is missing a wall. Yeah, I still need to do the whole replacing the background walls thing. We'll do that in just a hot second here. What I need to do in order to be able to do that is make myself a hammer. Am I the only one who feels a great amount of nostalgia when they hear the original nighttime tune in Terraria? It is literally one of the oldest pieces of music in this game. Ah, bugger. Nighttime means we're just going to get invaded over and over and over again. Ah, jeez. We're not going to get much peace and quiet here while I'm trying to do my base work, am I? You know what I can do? Maybe I could just sort of put the ground back. Yeah, do a little bit of that. And then we sort of start getting rid of some of these background walls. As we go down. In fact, a smart person would go ahead and fill in what we're digging out as we go down. Yeah, how about that for a 9,000 IQ play? All the while, the zombies can't hurt me. So why don't you suck on that, zombies? There we go, all right. We can start replacing the background walls inside of our little starter base, finally. So what have we got access to here? Living leaf walls. We've got regular wood walls over at the regular crafting station as well. Dirt. Yeah, stone as well. I think we can work with all of this to make ourselves a nice rudimentary base. All right, at the very least, we should be able to get the guide to spawn in. Yeah, looks like it. Well, should we put him in the big room? We'll put him in the big room. He's the OG NPC of Terraria at the end of the day, so I feel like he deserves a nice place. Look at all those cold callers knocking on my door. I mean, for goodness sake, I respect the fact that you got to try to, uh, you know, sell some products, but... But uh, this is getting a little bit crazy now on the verge of harassment. Just how bad of an idea is it going to be for me to open this and start throwing knives at them? Let's find out. Blah! This is such a bad idea. If I don't die by this, then I'm some sort of god. Oh, my word. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Ah, not a door. Wait. Boom, 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 boom. Die, 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 die. Yeah. <laughs> Easy street. Look at that. We got one extra defense out of that. That was so worth it. I just realized what else I could use these lead bars for. How about a little bit of storage? Yeah. I wonder. There's a chain. Where's the sawmill? Ah, bugger. We need some more bars, don't we? Uh-huh. The unfortunate thing for us, my friends, is we don't really have any kind of cave entrance. I mean, yeah, we got this little cave, you know, the tree leads down to it, but it's not like a proper cave entrance. Thus, we don't really have easy access to gear. Usually when you find a cave entrance, there's usually some sort of chest at the bottom of it or underground cabin, whatever have you. But in our case... We've been pretty unlucky with this world so far, I would say. Ah, well, we'll still try to make this world work, my friends. How's about... Wait, what's that? Is that Blinky Plant? I can only assume so, right? Only if it is Blinky Plant, that'll actually be quite useful because it's blooming at the moment. If we get ourselves some seeds, we'll be able to start growing some Blinky Plant. I'm not making the mistake of not growing potion ingredients again, my friends. In my recent Master Warrior playthrough, I didn't bother whatsoever with trying to grow my own potion ingredients. So that 
was a mistake. All right, very good. So check it out, my friends. We've actually got ourselves a minecart rail. That's fantastic news because they usually lead to some form of treasure, right? An underground cabin with a chest, maybe a heart crystal or two. What isn't very nice, though, is the fact we've got a bunch of red slimes on us and I can't for the life of me get down here to sort of bypass them. Ah, jeez. Oh, I see. One slime gets killed. Another one takes its place, does it? There's a little blue one down there. Now there's a friggin' yellow one. I'm gonna run out of ammo at this rate. All right. We're doing a little bit of exploring. Ordinarily, I'd have no issues with riding these minecarts here, but there have been several occasions in the past where there's been a trap on the minecart track, and I'm not about to have my first death be to something silly. Oh, hello. A furry has come to join us. Huh. Do we follow it? See where it goes? I think so. Yeah, all right, fairy. I know you're getting impatient, but I only have so much pickaxe power right now, buddy. Hey, we got gold on this world. I just realized. That's pretty awesome. If we can get ourselves a gold bow on episode one, then I think we're going to be set for a while. I can't remember if it's six ore bars or seven ore bars you need in order to make yourself a bow. I guess we'll find out in just a minute. We've only got enough to make ourselves, I think, six bars at the moment. Who knows? That may be enough. Oh, never mind, though. I think there's some more gold on my left-hand side here. Ew. Ah, very good. The fairy has revealed our first heart crystal of the series. Not too bad. Ah, oh, would you look at that? We just had the merchant arrive as well. So guess what that means? Darn near infinite bow ammo, so long as we've got ourselves a little bit of dosh on us. Yeah, don't mind if I do there, buddy. Right, that should grant us the ability to have the nurse spawn in now. I think the only prerequisite you need for her to spawn in is to have basically more than 100 health. All right, very good. So, back to exploring, my friends. We're looking for some more bits and bobs. I'm looking maybe for a chest or two, maybe a little bit of double jump, a magic mirror, some quick boots, you know? Alright, so that end of the minecart track takes you to the underground corruption. Yeah, not too keen on exploring that just yet. But you know what though? On that same note, if we were to grab ourselves a bomb, we could break that shadow orb that we found and get ourselves the musket, right? Imagine having a musket on episode one, though. I mean, come on, that would be pretty incredible. Oh, no, I'm going to die to red slimes now, aren't I? Psych! <laughs> oh, just call me the greatest ninja who's ever lived. Maybe the right-hand side of this minecart track will lead us somewhere nice? Ah, what it does is lead us to the jungle. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't think I am a fan of wanting to explore this area. But for some reason, here I am exploring this area. Why am I so dumb? Why do I keep going against what I keep on suggesting to myself? For example, I'm suggesting to myself that I should get out of it. But here I am exploring and digging up some sand. Why am I doing this? Because I want windows in my starter house. That's right, I'm risking my life to put windows in my house. That is how stupid I am. There we are. I think we're just about done for that little exploration sesh, my friends. Let's put some windows in our house. Let's see if we can't upgrade our bow a little bit. I must admit, I do love the ranger class. So long as you're able to sort of stay at range, you know, stay away from everybody, basically, then you're pretty much good. You don't have to worry too much about anything. Ooh, pylon network. Well, it would be nice to buy this, but sadly, I don't quite have the dosh. Maybe what I could do instead is buy myself a whole bunch of these bad boys. Wait, do we have ropes? I should probably get some ropes as well, actually, while I'm here. Wait, shurikens! Yo! There's actually loads of things this guy sells. There we go. All right, I'm spent now, my friendos. We've got not many throwing knives left, so I think I might put those in a chest somewhere for now. But anyways, here we are. We've got a whole bunch of gold. Wait, seven bars. Ah, I forgot it's four ores per bar for gold. But no matter. Look at it. There it is. A gold bow. Oh, it's a fast one as well with more crit chance. Yo, I'm definitely down with that. Literally double damage compared to... To the wood bow. And with the lead bars, we can make ourselves a fishing pole. A 15% fishing power fishing pole. 
That's not bad, actually. I'll absolutely take that. Sell our copper short sword. Sell the finch staff. That's going to hurt because actually I quite like the finch staff. And there we have it. I think we're looking pretty good. Got our first gold coin. And actually, with that gold coin, I think what I'll do is I will purchase a piggy bank. Yeah, now what we can do is start stacking our money away quite nicely. Now, I may be relying quite heavily on RNG for this particular goal I'm going for now, which is to try and get bombs from a vase so I can try and break that shadow orb. But, I mean, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, right? So, how's about... We give it a go. All right. Not one, but two vases down here. What's the chances of us getting a bomb or two? Oh, my God. We actually did. No way. <laughs> oh, I mean, I wasn't intending on speedrunning this series, but if Terraria is going to give me the tools to do so, then I hardly think I'm going to deny it. <laughs> oh, that's so fantastic. All right, let's see if we can't take these poor fellas out. Oh, look at it. Gold bow. A fast gold bow as well. Absolutely wrecking shop. Ooh. Do I have enough? What have we got there? Shurikens. Very good. Uh, wait, there's a little bit of an avenue up here I can go to. Ooh. Kind of interested to see if there's anything up here. And the short answer is no, there's not really anything. There's a demon altar. That's quite handy, of course. But now the question is, do we have enough bombs to get ourselves over to that shadow orb? Of course, we can't mine up the ebon stone for now. So, yep, yeah, bombs it's going to have to be. Oh, uh, yeah, we should have more than enough to do this thing, my friends. In fact, bang on, I would hope. Oh, dear. That rat just had a very bad time. There we are. Break this one. And, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. I can't believe it. Episode one, musket. I mean, come on. That's pretty bonkers, isn't it? We only have 100 shots with this mind. We don't have an arms dealer. Nor a great deal of cash to buy any ammo, even if we did have an arms dealer. So here's what I'm thinking, my friends. I'm actually going to go ahead and dig out two further NPC houses. What I'm hoping to have happen is we'll have both the nurse and the arms dealer both spawn in. And then I'm going to call episode one there because I think having four NPCs, a musket and a gold bow on episode one... I don't think that's bad going, do you? So let's get ourselves a couple more NPC rooms dug out and decorated and populated with various bits of furniture. And once that is done and dusted, of course, I feel pretty good about wrapping up our first episode there. We've really not done bad today, have we, my friends? Like, really, we haven't. There we are. That should be space for another house. Okay, fantastic. We'll add in... A few little bits and bobs back here as well. I'm thinking maybe this one can have a little lantern in it. I mean, why not? And some little windows just to finish it off. Oh, sounds like daytime has just rolled around. <laughs> Excellent. All right, the NPC should start spawning in any minute now. Because we have a gun and some ammo on us, that means the arms dealer should be able to move in. And since we have more than 100 life, it means the nurse should be able to spawn in as well. I mean, at this point, my friends, we are literally only playing the waiting game. Hey, there we are. Catherine, the nurse, has just arrived. What we are waiting for now, of course, is the arms dealer. Once the arms dealer is in, that is it. We have ourselves probably the four quintessential NPCs for early game Terraria. Nurse, merchant, guide, and the arms dealer. And hey, once we have the arms dealer, we'll be able to get access to some new weapons, my friends. Hey, eh? the flintlock pistol being one of them, I think. Later down the line, we can buy illegal gun parts, the shotgun. It's all going to be very, very useful stuff to have, isn't it? All right, so there we go, my friends. The arms dealer. He has arrived. Brimsed. All right, very good. So there we have it, my friends. Episode one. We've not done bad. Gold bow, musket, four NPCs, and a whole bunch of good times, my friends. Oh, yeah. A good day to you, sir. All right, so here we go. We've got the forest pylon. Oh, the mini shark. I completely forgot about this bad boy. <laughs> oh, wonderful. All right, how much are musket balls? Six copper. How many can we buy? Uh, I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. 782 is now the amount we have. All right, so we're looking good in terms of ammo. We're looking good in terms of weaponry. I think we're looking good, period. Hell yeah! 
So, ladies and gents, I think it's going to be time to wrap up the first episode there. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's first episode of the Master Ranger playthrough, then do be sure to drop a like beneath the video if you haven't already. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, if you don't want to miss out on my future Terraria content. But for now, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Hope you guys enjoy this series to come. But yeah, thank you for all of your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.